Um, Ramondre Stevenson is uh, is the man of the hour. Really, after the little bit of a, a he nick can, up with, with... He can definitely cock push up. With Damian Harris, um, you know, we finally got to see one of these guys emerge. I think either one can be good given given the right amount of touches. I think Damian Harris will probably move on or like Jay Wynn would say, maybe it's the ultimate Patriots thing. He's not playing great. They bring him back and just fuck everything up again. But I think Damian Harris is, is a fine player too. But Ramondre seemed to be bursting at the scenes and, and now we're, you know, we're kind of getting it yeah. right now. Um, thoughts on Ramondre moving forward. We talked a little bit. I about mean, I had him the, pretty high in my rankings. I felt yeah, well, we just did a, the ranking show a little bit, and we got kind of into that fourth, fifth tier, and it got kind of, you know, good luck saying who over who at this point right now in the season. Yeah. Um, so, you know, what what would be the round value that you would establish with Ramondre? In terms of startup? Um, well, just rookie draft, I guess. He's What do you... I don't think... He, he's not yet worth a first, but he easily could be. I think that... Most on people a, will say no com- way. Right. On a competitor, I don't think I want to give up the first. I don't think you have to. I I wanted to put him on this list because, like, I know we had several questions about him in the in the comment section in that rankings video, and we didn't address him too too much. But there's still a window right now. Like you think for sure. Like he didn't. It, he had that touchdown that kind of saved his fantasy day. It wasn't out of control. He only had. 60 yards. 16 points, right, after after a, a, a strong little run there. But, like, if if Damian Harris comes back, it's it's going to – he's definitely going to eat into that a little bit. Sure. All of a sudden he had a, an illness, you know. And, and the Patriot games, people could be frustrated with him, just wanting to get off of him. Like, I think there is still, like, a buy window with him. Although that, that game log looks better than I thought it did for sure. That's It's a three – four 20s in a row and then a 16. But, like, he just – I mean, I'd get two seconds all day for Ramondre sure. Stevenson. All day. Maybe you give. would have to give up the first. What's that? You'd give? Yeah. Yeah. On a strong team, I'd think about giving away that 23 first. Yeah, that's a that's a weird one. Uh, you know, if you're obviously, if you're losing and you don't have a whole lot of good pieces and Ramondre is like one of your only great pieces, then, then I'd be willing to move, see if I could figure out how to get a first for him. Yeah. In a lot of cases, you're probably not trying to sell Ramondre if you're a middling team, or although some people are just team ship yeah. out the running back. Yeah. If he's sell Ramondre in a third for a first. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the goal if you really wanted to get it. I, I'd be fine paying. If I could do the one-two swap on Ramondre and... Um, Give up the one, get the two back. Right. And get Ramondre. That's, you're, probably, you're probably not I think you're probably not that. doing that. Well, that's we can, a pretty we can, easy one for me. We can figure out like to give up the first and then get back a two. Oh, I would do that in a heartbeat. I would but definitely I'm, do that. I don't know if you'll get that deal done. Yeah. Yeah. I Maybe. Mean, you, you might have to kick some more in, but that'd be... You might have to wait till Harris comes back I, and, yeah. and this, and this well, line the, goes the down thing, the thing I like two about twos, th- then you do the two one, and then see where you're at. The thing I like about Stevenson is that he's getting the passing down work. He's getting the passing work right now. Right. And I think that continues when Harris even comes back. Well, the thing about Stevenson is that when Harris is out, he's like the guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like they're committing to him, which they don't usually commit to running backs. It's been since like Laguerre. They have won. to. They have no other option right now. I mean, they, I think Kobe. I think uh, <laughs> Harris was like a healthy scratch, right? Or was yeah. he hurt? Her- both Harris's were scratch. Both Harris were. Damian Harris was injured. Kevin Harris was healthy. A healthy scratch, yeah. right? Like they could have. They had JJ. Yeah, Taylor. but I mean, that, they had JJ I'm, Taylor as the back. What I'm back. saying, not not that they don't have bodies. Of course they have bodies. I'm saying like he's like he's their only option to actually be able to use and do something with like even if Kevin Harris was there he wouldn't be eating into his like they've always had like a couple different capable guys to do different things in different roles right now they have none of that yeah even if the guys were even if Kevin Harris was not a healthy scratch like he might get a little bit of run here and there but yeah he's short yardage back right so I mean I think but you that's the that's the problem if you felt yeah. really good and Ramondre was just you knew Ramondre was going to be the guy next year and you didn't have to worry about them doing something else like they always oh, do, you then, see, then, send the first then it's back. a first without even I don't even need anything back. Yeah, but like, um, that's the problem. Is that yeah, you know, it's you, you could get really pigeonholed next year and then the value probably maybe even goes down from what you paid because you're back to right now. There looks like there's a little light at the end of the tunnel, so maybe it is a sell. 
Mm-mm. I mean, I love uh, it's tough when you love a play, like love the player, you like watching him play. You think he's pretty good. I got him in a couple spots in a couple second rounds last year or two years ago, whenever that was. And I, I'm hanging on. But yeah. He is 24. The two teams that I have him on were both rebuilding teams and I bought him and I don't want to give him up because I'm next year I'm planning on trying to make the run. So it's like I don't really necessarily need to sell him equipped with picks that I need. Now I just got to play the waiting game. Um, but yeah. I don't know, man. That could be a, that could be the sell. Nobody's selling. Everybody's buying. Yeah, I'd be. Yeah, it's not because of the it's not because of the talent that you're that I'd be wanting to just get out Patriot of just Patriot situation. Of, just in if general, you, if you had to play the odds, the if you had to play the odds, what do you think's happening next year? You think they're just going to give Ramondre Stevenson the star running back role, or you think they're going to muddy that thing back up? I mean, what's your definition? If he gets. 60% of the work. I think they'll muddy it up, but he still could be just yeah, fine. Exactly. Yeah, but if they're muddying it up, then he's probably not worth the first. Depends whether if muddying it up with Kevin Harris and Pierre Strong. Well, I mean, no, you'd, you'd be obviously picking another running back up or signing another veteran running back or bringing Damian Harris back or, you know, any of those above options, which, you know, that in most in most cases, I'd say, hey, things can change. They can do things differently, but the Patriots really don't. Yeah. That just doesn't seem like the Patriot thing to do is go out and... I, I mean, mean they, they wouldn't buy anybody expensive, but there's going to be plenty of veteran running backs that they could pay, you know, $7 million to, and they'll be like, sure. I don't know who's who's a free agent and who isn't. But David I mean, Montgomery or Ramondre? I mean, David Montgomery could be a fucking Patriot next year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> That's kind of why I, thought, I said that. I thought that's where you're going with that, yeah. yeah. That's where you're going with that. Um, Although, I guess he's not having the pr- production this year. He could be cheaper than yeah, than what he should be. I'll Don't, take I'll take Montgomery. I mean, really, I have Ramondre ranked over him. I think it's I, right now, yeah. I have I him in the same fair. tier. I have him in the same tier, too, but I have on opposite ends of the tier. Miles Sanders or Ramondre? I have Ramondre just over Sanders. They're all kind of the same. They're all in the same tier. Again, they're all in the same tier. Ramondre's got probably the age by a hair. A, a year. So that's nice. Just He's running 24 back versus 25. Those other guys are 25. Tony, well, last one. Tony Pollard. We said, we discussed this on the rankings. Ramondre. Yeah. All right. That was pretty easy. Shade of Tony Pollard, I guess they would call that. The kid's quick answer. I like Tony. I just don't know where he's going to end up. I mean, Tony Pollard could be a fucking patriot next year. I hope he's a cowboy, but... Let's hit a couple questions here. I don't know that he will be. 